uh, we, we are gathered for another sculpture forum. Myself, uh, the usual wonderful Jock Ireland and the marvelous Brent Johnson. Uh, and we're being filmed and edited by the amazing Mallory Marks. And on this occasion, uh, we are joined again by the um, exciting young sculptor, Lydia Gladkova. Welcome, Lydia. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're glad to have you. Uh, we've been to see, uh, it was a little while ago now, we went to see an exhibition of sculpture uh, by Thaddeus Mosley. Uh, Thaddeus Mosley is a woodcarver, and he is now quite elderly, uh, um, but, but uh, still very active, um, and, and in fact quite prolific. Uh, and uh, so it's unusual to find, you know, woodcarvers these days. Uh, and so I was, you know, I was, I think, uh, excited to see this. I'd seen images of his work. I'd never seen a real live show. And uh, I found it, um, I found it invigorating. Anybody else? Some things <laughs> could be uh, sort of comic, but, um, but never jokey. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and... And it, it's that uh, that kind of seriousness that I uh, gripped me. Yeah, well, I, I want to take issue with your implication that serious sculpture can't be joyful, but let's leave it there for now. Mm -hmm. uh, Brand, I believe you had some reservations about this work. Well, I, I like some pieces so much more than others. And uh, you know, in part, it's a it's a kind of temperament thing because, um, uh, well, I mean, there, that's all there is to that. Temperaments, you know, is what it is. Not very interesting. Um, I like the ones that are. I like the ones best that are simplest, that are you know, two three wow. elements. Um, I mean, like the one that's on screen right now. I, I, I don't remember the title, but mm -hmm. I just love that one. Yeah. I mean, it's stare and stare at it. And that one seems to me more essentially sculptural. You know, I have to explain what that means than, than some other pieces. I mean, the, the, the joinery is more exposed, um, more... Uh, well, more interesting, um, less uh, less stable, less simply fastened than, and less simply arranged than other pieces. Um, the the kind of improvisational quality, you know, which matters so much to his work. Um, the ones that I like are, you know, are kind of accents of improvisation. But you know, personally, I'm not I'm not wild about. Um, you know, again, it's just a matter of sensibility. I'm not wild about uh, improvisation for itself. Well, I'm not sure how much improvisation there is. I mean, the, 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 <clears throat> I mean, it's hard to be improvisatory when you're carving wood, you know. Um, I think there is, and maybe you're referencing really the way some things are put together and the surprising way some things are put together. Um, and, and what is put together? Because I mean, it, it's not like it's fast moving improv, but um, you know, he has, a, he has a bunch of elements underway at once and material coming in. And I have the feeling that he, you know, he may be putting things in, taking them out. Uh, you know, and and beginning from the material, which is terrific, right? Um, I I mean, I'm most moved by them when they're, hmm, you know, when they're when they're in a way closest to the tree, when they're simple monolithic volumes, uh, you know, and and really simple volumes. Um, well, I, I had the sense that they all, you know, they, they, they were all very much uh, 
a product of of the material and his engagement with the material um you know that that he 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 uh he, you know he was responding uh to, to the material in his hand um to the wood to the logs yeah uh, bits and pieces and figuring out you know w w what he could find in them and how to how to put put something with that you know um you know there were some earlier pieces that were very simple and that i i found in a way different from these um uh, much more um serene uh but, but whereas these seem to be um you know very, very alive uh lydia in most cases the bottom suggests you know the pedestals they go um as one thing one leg that goes um straight to the floor so he preserves this trunk like quality um and the experience of walking around them is like we are walking among the trees even when there was i think one sculpture that looked like um, it seemed to me that many times um they're put together almost like uh as if they weren't wood you know, as if they were, um, there's a, a kind of like a, a casual um, tossed in the air quality, almost like, uh, you know, that you'd see in welded steel where, you know, elements don't have to be meet at a massive point and be attached with, a, you know, a visible anchor, um, where there's a kind of non-volumetric connection between things. The, the, the work in this show seemed to be, you know, it's a generalization, but kind of somewhat more elaborate and, and um, more complex, complicated even, um, than that simple piece Brandt is talking about. And, 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 and what I think of is much of the earlier work from what I could judge. It's funny that, a, you know, an artist at 94 um, it kind of stands the, uh, the, the usual trajectory of an older artist on its head, that he becomes, if anything, more Baroque, more various, more casual. More um, garrulous. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and that carefree. Um it it you say the word precarious troubles me. It um it's it's a hot word in the art world now. Really? And, it, and it's a word, you know, I associate with um Richard Serra and you know oh. being intimidated by the sculpture. And and this sculpture is not intimidating. It's in very human it's uh and it's human because of the way it and it, it it you talk about it being the elements being thrown up in the air and and it's like talking to people at a party you you walk up to someone and you start talking about something or other um uh, and 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 you you're you're not afraid of the person you're talking to you're you're there's a human exchange that goes on yeah uh, sorry Buck, this reminds you of being at a party it, yeah I, I mean that that is that that's the gallery situation and and it's you know that it's not the only situation that this sculpture is going to be seen in and i'm not sure that it's the perfect situation either but it's um you know what i and i i think about um raul haig who's a very you know monolithic guy and whose <laughs> sculptures sort of look human there could be torsos often and um and, and yet and and they're very beautiful but these 
are 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 more human than the hags is what I'm trying to get at. Huh, that's funny because these are like they're not very corporeal. I mean, they're not. Yeah, right. Figural. They sort of play against figural. Yeah, it, exactly. And and it's you know it's you're talking to someone rather than embracing someone. Yeah. I don't see that. I don't see that at all. I see the person who is alone with this enchanting world. But they don't much resemble people, though, no, Lydia? No, not at all. Yeah. But you feel the presence of the artist. Yes. Presence of a maker making. And I agree with the joke that they're very humanistic. I, I didn't know precarious was a kind of current buzzword in the arts, Jock. Um, otherwise, I, I obviously wouldn't have used it. <laughs> I loved it until now. Yeah, me too. And, and I think, in fact, I can't, I've been sitting here trying to think of an alternative, and I haven't come up with one yet. Um, I, I mean, it, it, it the, the work conveyed a, a kind of spirit of spontaneity and that is remarkable i think for wood carvings you know yes yeah. you know you can't be spontaneous with a great hunk of wood that you've got to chip away at slowly you know yeah exactly 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 i mean how however much time it takes to arrive at an element um you know the the conjoining of elements could be you know blink of an eye, you see a couple of things and you say, well, what if I put this on top of that? And there it is. Yeah, that's spontaneity. Well, I wonder how much that happens and how much the, 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 the feeling is that you have this log and, and this chunk of wood and you're going to put them together. And, you know, I mean, there's a, there's, there's more planning than that involved, I'm convinced. Uh -huh. uh, I think you have, you know, he has how many logs he has in his studio and he's looking at them and figuring out what will go with what and, and what kind of thing might come out of what. And the, the sense of spontaneity is, is a function of the way things are composed rather than you know, a literal yeah. feeling that they've been thrown together um, in the blink of an eye. William Turnbull, I looked him up, and and I, I, I certainly know expert on his work, but he um, uh, he went through a phase of making sort of log like, uh, but he was a much more. I don't know what the word is. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to say sophisticated because that, that, you know that would imply that this this work is not. But there is a kind of primitiveness about this work that is totally absent from just about anything Turnbull did. Or yeah, no, there's a rawness about this work and 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 an immediacy. And uh, so we liked this show. We all liked it. We all enjoyed it. We all. Um, felt, uh, you know, that, that it was really something uh, rewarding and worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, and and it it was wood, it and carved wood, and it, you know we that's been forgotten. Um, there, I mentioned Haig, and and uh, there are other Americans who carved wood and. Yeah, no, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not something a lot of people do anymore. Um, certainly not, uh, uh, you know, on this scale or with, with this kind of flair, energy. Uh, yeah. And uh, and she's got an article in the current New Yorker that um, about trees. I haven't read the article, but I, you know, just plugging wood and trees and uh, 
um, it's, I don't know, I don't know. It, it's worth thinking about trees for everybody, <laughs> all of us. There's a, there's, a lot, there's a lot of work being done in the last few years and continuing about the way trees communicate with, with each other. And uh, Do we want to talk about what, you know, what makes you feel this work? Because I would say that it's not very introspective. It's about something else. It it's sorry, it's it's not introspective. It's about something else. It's not. Um... I agree. It's introspective. Yes. It's what uh, Brand. I didn't catch that. Outrospective. Outrospective. Out what? Outgoing. But uh, yeah. I. But it's you know I don't feel <laughs> the sense of a party either. I think he's alone. I mean, I, I with his uh, with his imagination. I, I I felt excited by it, slightly unnerved by it, um, mm -hmm. slightly disoriented by it, which I think is a good, you know, a, a good experience. Um, like was yeah. it because of his uh, one leg, like <laughs> um, that they are always on sort of a pedestal always oh, vertical mm -hmm. i don't i it goes all the way down to the toes i think but i i think of him or i take him for you know an artist who who arranges things in the world and in a sense you know is not so much imposing himself as you know kind of employing himself as a selector arranger composer i i i you know i i'm surprised I not monolithic yeah yeah but that and he was thinking you know each piece is very different from the others and it's he he, he engages with the the sculpture at a just at a non-verbal level yeah no i think that was one characteristic of this show the, the extent to which the, the work each piece was unique yeah there's no sense of a series uh you know, Episodic. one idea carrying on to the next right right each one seems very uh you know it very much itself um, exactly it, yeah yeah i think of them as more sign like and signifying than than dancing i mean they're they're each uh post like you know they they meet the ground at a kind of a butt end and proceed more or less vertically um you know, there's there's nothing like a kind of a a step or a stride or a contrapposto. Um, well, I you know, I can't I I disagree. <laughs> there's all kind. It you know it it's wonderful the way that he handles weight, uh, and and I think it's wonderful because he shaped each element. Um, and he lifted each element uh, it, when yeah. it was necessary to lift them. It, uh, there, there's plenty. I mean, it's not doesn't look like Greek sculpture, but there's plenty of contrapost. You know, this weight balancing against that weight I, I and dis movement. Sorry, I I disagree. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, he. But I think movement in terms of a kind of gesture, like as in a kind of a you know significant signing silhouette. It's like a kind of a you know a, a wave or a hmm. symbol. Yeah, but there are no silhouettes in this. It's all three dimensional. 
It, I mean, oh, David so Smith, you could say. Silhouette. Sorry? I think there's a lot of silhouettes, sure. I mean, not that not that they're, uh, you know, planar or, or essentially frontal, but... Yeah, but they don't. I didn't feel that they were they were made in the process of of, of their coming into being. The author was somehow the dealing with them in terms of silhouettes. Oh man, I don't know. I'm just I'm looking at the frame that's on screen. I have to disagree. Well. Um... Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they seem so fully three dimensional, and there seem to be such a multiplicity of silhouettes. That yeah, you know, it, it, it of what Lydia was saying, it's sometimes as if they're holding something up against the sky. It's almost like a like an arm brandishing something, and it's a it's an arm. It's not. It's not a, you know, a, it's not a pair of legs. It's not a, it's, it's, it's not a mechanically mobile structure. It's a pillar-like thing, you know, a totem-like thing. Yeah, I mean that's true, but but on the other hand, the, the the sense of there being a potential for movement within the object was quite vivid. I felt. Yeah, it couldn't be more vivid, and when and that word precarious, that was your word, Brent. Was uh, no, you know? mine, mine, but apparently I shouldn't have used it. Well, but but that that's. There's movement at the heart of of uh, uh, his his work, instability recovered with balance. And... Hmm. See, contrapposto is is a is a matter of balance, but uh, something that stands without tipping over. That it's it's a very different thing. You know, the pieces aren't they don't stand because they're fastened down. There's a certain yeah. It's a certain equal distribution of weight, equal enough that it, it doesn't tip right or left. But uh I mean, they're just non-figural in that way. More like a, a fragment of a body or like something altogether different. You know, like a Chinese character is certainly has a certain anthropomorphism, but um, but it's not figural, it's not, mm, you know, it doesn't stand on its own two feet, it stands up like a sign against the sky. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's true of. of Chinese characters, how often they could be, you know, um, seems to me, uh, you know, kind of little little animated creatures or possibly occasionally human creatures. Um, yeah, it has to be so. I mean, the character for, for man, it's, you know, like a, a two-legged, thing but I mean the character for house can't be particularly anthropomorphic or the character for you know son or yeah. you know yeah but I mean I didn't I didn't feel I mean I didn't I didn't experience these things as have them, you know, having in any clear and obvious way the potential to function as signs mm -hmm. they seem to be much too object much too object much too physical physical presence of a, of a, of a, a material object um, and, 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 and the, the appearance of them is inseparable from you know what they're made of and how they're made, which is not what a sign is. Well, I'm, I'm taking them for something that's certainly physical, 
but um, but not not object like. Well, I don't. I mean, when, when you say not object like, I've no idea what that is. You're referencing what you have in mind. Well, objects are usually in some way monolithic, you know, to more or less extent. But most of these pieces not. Object. I mean, I'm kind of I'm arguing for a for a, a, a certain distinct, you know, uh, unlikely eccentric thing that they have vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, a more normative sculptural item. You, you've lost me, uh, but uh, the the it, when you talk about the sign in the sky, mm -hmm. I think about David Smith and his photographs of his sculpture. Mm -hmm. But these these things are very much things or almost people standing uh, with me on the same ground uh, and allowing me to engage with them. Um, See, I'm finding them far more smithy than, than Noguchi or Brancusi related. You know, the, the smiths are, they have certain, they have certain kind of witty play on the elements of a figure, but they're not figural. They're confrontational, but they're not, they're just not, like us and these things aren't like us either they were made by somebody like us you know he's he's communicating to us through these to me sign like things but they're not themselves particularly tree like or i mean in a way they're not they're not particularly organic you know they're, they're, they're not joined, uh, well, they're not monolithic like a tree. Um, the joinery is not analogous to, uh, you know, the, the structure of the wood itself. It's often kind of arbitrary. I, th I really think Lydia is onto something when she points out that they're they're not introspective that they're that they're saying something telling something but but at the same time they're not revealing something they're not they're not revelatory because they're not perceptive per perceptual sorry perceptual they're not perceptual uh. um i think they come from his imagination yeah, I, I I would agree that they're not they're not uh, you know they're not essentially subjective. They are assertions. I think they are much more declarative um, than work that I would think of as as you know um, coming you know very much out of somebody's uh, psyche and somebody's uh, emotional life and feeling. Yeah. But 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 I you know I, I at the same time as saying that I mean I I I do feel and did feel there in the in the gallery you know this is work by somebody who who is embodying his experience in these things this is you know oh yes this... yes very much so yeah, yeah and it's a sort of Shakespearean experience you know a whole bunch of different characters rather than a sort of T.S. Eliot um, introspection, um, modernist introspection, where it's the character of the poet that is that dominates. It, here it's the whole world, and it's a rich, wonderful imagination mm -hmm. that he's got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he mentioned Dylan Thomas, I think, in that interview. Yeah. Yeah, who's sort of almost not a modernist, you know, he's from Wales, like you, Garth. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, but a wordsmith all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And primitive, like like Garth. Well. <laughs> I think that's enough of this. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, Good. But I, I don't mean to end it here. Elemental. You think we've. I do think we've given it a, yeah. know, a, a good work through, and unless anybody's got any, you know, anything they feel is not yet been said, then maybe we can oh. leave it. I, I'm happy to leave it. I don't think there's anything I have to add. All right. I'm you happy to say, Lydia. Why don't we just go on by ourselves? Wow. Without, without me? Yeah, you mean. Okay, thank you very I much. I want to say one more thing. Can I say one more thing? You can, Lydia, please do. I just had a fantasy while you were talking, Garth, that you know, I'm walking through the woods and I come across one of these things. Um, and I would spend time with it and I would come back to it. That's all. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, when we were talking about them, I, and, and we were, or no, I mean, I wasn't, but you guys were batting around the extent to which they were, I forget now, but human uh, or, or figural. Um, uh, I think that's one of the things that unnerved me about them. There's something slightly alien about them to me. See, alien and figural don't go together that easily. No, no. You mean flung from outer space? Well, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure. I really mean that they are kind of little green creatures with, you know, with um, bulging eyes and, and antenna. Uh, no, I mean, I just that uh, that. The, um. Well, who said that creatures from outer space should have antenna? Uh, well, that uh, alien then, quality is, I mean, you could say that a smith has a quality of otherness. It's like an animation, uh, animated, an animation, or what do you call it, like an inner? Synthetic. No synthetic. Uh, it's like a spirit, like a little animated, mm -hmm. it's animated from within. Mm -hmm. mm. Not so much. Well, animated by the maker, it's a kind of a, you know, it's like I thought, Garth, your word, um, uh, declarative and what else? Declarative is a really yeah, good. They, they each one seemed an assertion, as if it was a assertive. Of, yeah. And a declaration. declaration. Yeah. yeah. I think that's really kind of right on. Mm -hmm. And And one's aware of them being assertions by an author, by a person. But his his vehicle is not a likeness to a to a person. It's a it's an arrangement, a composition. You know, I mean, kind of like music, like a, like you know, the notes of the notes are all out there for anyone to take. It's but it's the the you know arrangement and timing and choice that make it sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's a great musician in that respect. I think. Mm. You know, it doesn't make him a sort of secondary or second rate sculptor. For me. No, I, I, I agree. I mean, it will be interesting, I think, to to if it were possible to re revisit these things at some point in the future and um, see how I would respond to them. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So you you would you would find them friendly if you find one in the woods. You would feel it was a a, a friend. Did you? You'd think of it as a friend. You'd go visit again and. I would think it was left there with a message. Hmm. 
Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Can we, can we turn off the recording and just go over plans?